Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, just at the end of last season, 2023, when the tomatoes were just finishing off, just going over, I uh, sliced them up, placed them in those pots on top of some compost and covered them with cocoa koi. We stored them in my fridge, which is in the garage, which I turn on when it's warm during the late summer, autumn. Switch it off when we've got the cold weather in the winter and then switch it back on again before uh, the spring, just so that we keep them at a, a cold temperature so they don't germinate too early. And as you can see now, we've had quite a lot of success. The uh, mini bell trailing, nothing appeared there. I will have a dig around at a later date. The uh, Marbone from Jason and Colleen. All three pots there are doing well. I've got a nice uh, black cherry. These are my favorite tomatoes. And I find this is the best way to save them. The purple Ukraine, uh, a yellow, hang on, we're just hiding it a little bit there. It's a cherry, yellow. And uh, here we have some uh, some more British varieties like the Shirley and uh, the Alicante. And then we've got another yellow mini, which uh, an, an orange banana there. So I do like these varieties. And they've really done quite well. So it's well worth slicing your tomatoes up at the end of the season. Layering them in some compost, topping off with cocoa koi or something similar, giving them some heat and water because they were bone dry, and within, I should imagine it's two or three weeks, they start growing. And they're all about ready now for pricking out, and we'll pick the best ones. There's more than enough there because you know full well now when you buy a packet of tomato seeds if you're lucky if you get six seeds and if only half of those germinate then we're always a little bit frustrated. Shirley is probably an F1. Alicante is probably an F1. I've got no qualms about growing them on and I've done it with the Gigantomos and I got five years out of keep reusing them before they went a bit funny, misshapen, etc. Free tomato seeds, free plants, and of course, if you've got free compost as well, you'll end up with some free tomatoes. Hope you found this interesting. The video of me slicing these up. Uh, will be in the playlist uh, on the end screen. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Draw for now.